I have an interesting document, actually, about uh, why black women need the vote. And black women are also using a kind of argument from expediency after 1900. And by expediency, I mean pragmatism, practical reasons. They're not only arguing from justice, that this is what is right, although they retain that as well. And I think that Nanny H. Burroughs' um, article that is short and something that students could easily read uh, makes a profound point. Nanny Burroughs, um, who, um, whose mother was an emancipated slave, was one of the founders of the Women's Convention of the National Baptist Convention, and which is in a very important uh, locale for a Southern black women's movement. She was a black women's club uh, leader, and the clubs that women organized at the turn of the century are more than recreational and more than philanthropic even. And certainly for black women, even when they're philanthropic, it's about uplifting the race. Um, the National Associ Association of Colored Women's motto becomes, by the 1920s, lifting as we climb. And so there's an idea that anyone that achieves a certain le level of middle class respectability or economic stability um, in the black community has a responsibility to the entire black community. And women really took that message to heart and really saw their role change um, by 1900. Uh, I, was, I would read this um, just to make sure that students take note of the particularities here. So this isn't a visual source, but it is a powerful textual source. It reads, uh, when the ballot is put in the hands of the American woman, the world is going to get a correct estimate of the Negro woman. It will find her a tower of strength of which poets have never orators have never spoken and scholars have never written. Because the black man does not know the value of the ballot and has bartered and sold his most valuable possession, it is no evidence that the Negro woman will do the same. And here what she's referring to is the common practice, not, or at least not uncommon practice, of black men who otherwise would have been beaten and possibly killed for voting um, pragmatically, taking money in order to vote for the Democratic Party, the Party of the South, the Party of the Confederacy, um, for a long time. And um, she's critical of black men for that. I think as historians and as contemporary people, we need to put that in some context. She's using this as a point of contention in order to draw a very different picture for black women. But I wouldn't want to take away uh, I, her criticism of black men without understanding the context for it.